Ended up going to what at that time was Missouri Baptist College, is now Missouri Baptist University. And ended up kind of doing the same thing there. Uh, <laughs> I remember I was so excited about my first day of college because this was going to be different than high school. This was, you know, I would get to choose my classes and do what I wanted to do. And then when I registered, my first class started at 7.30 in the morning. <laughs> I'm not a morning person, never have been, never will be. I'm, I'm sorry for all of you morning people. And Natalie is a morning person. And my wife is too. I'm, I'm definitely not. I'm the opposite. I'm always like, but the sunrise is so beautiful. And I'm like, so is the sunset. It looks exactly the same. You just face the other direction. <laughs> Sunsets are beautiful. So 7.30 in the morning, and I remember I got there and I sat down. And it was about a 30-minute drive for me to get there. Sat down in the class, and the instructor walked in and stood in front of the class and said, Good morning, class. Welcome to Introduction to Computer Information Systems. And I was out. <sighs> the next thing I knew, someone was shaking me, saying, Come on, man, it's over. And that was kind of the beginning of a long college career. <laughs> uh, but you I, did start in a historic uh, uh, group there. Well, yeah, it was a, at the time it was a very small, very small place. Uh, wasn't a whole lot going on on campus. When you get a few guys who were bored and creative, then, you know, things happen. And we ended up, you know, this kind of started with, I went for one semester and then I took a semester off and then I came back. So technically I was a freshman and that was when I became the president of the sophomore class while I was still a freshman. There you go. And then we, uh, you know, just a quick version, homecoming was coming up and they wanted us to nominate someone to be the homecoming queen and we didn't know anyone. We didn't have a name, but we had to turn something in. So we just made up a name and wrote it down and turned it in. And her name was Lindsay Brooks. And we turned it in. And a day or two later, my friend Greg came up to me and said, hey, did you see this? And it was a sheet with the names of all the homecoming queen candidates. And Lindsay Brooks was on there. And we were like, well, OK, let's just see what happens. And no one said anything. No one said, why is this name on here? We got to take this off. And no one really did anything about it. I'm not even sure what the purpose was of homecoming at that point, but there was no excitement about it. There was, there was nothing going on. So we said, let's make it exciting. So I started making flyers and hanging them up and telling everyone, vote for Lindsay, vote for Lindsay. And we got people talking and People would walk up and say, how come I never see Lindsay? And they'd say, she was just right here. You totally just missed her. <laughs> and this went on. And then uh, the day before they were going to vote for homecoming queen, the president of the Student Government Association turned us in. And so her name got taken off all of the ballots. And at that time, Everything was done with typewriters and then Xeroxed. So they had to physically go in and cross her name off all the ballots. Oh, that's funny. And then people came up to us and said, well, what happened? What happened to Lindsay? Why isn't she on there? And I I kind of froze and Greg just blurts out, she died. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for uh, watching this short with us today. And if you like it, check out our full episodes on our uh, channel and website. Uh, we'll put those in the links below. And as always, Scott, like and subscribe. Or subscribe and then like. Whatever order you want, really. Whatever order you like. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs>